Hey there, Guidos and Guidettes. I'm Jagger Weatherby with Wet Paint Entertainment, and I'm here with all the latest juicy gossip about season five of Jersey Shore. Now, for those of you scratching your heads and wondering what the hell happened to season four, let me catch you up to speed. After a whirlwind few weeks spent filming the fourth installment over in Italy, where the macaroni rascals got up to all the usual fights and makeups and historic bridge disasters that one would naturally expect, the gang headed straight back to the good old US of A. But before they were able to put on fresh t-shirts, slap on a bit of fake tan, and head out to the clubs for a night of rowdy fist pumping, MTV took away the group's scheduled month off, threw the cast into virtual lockdown for a week, and immediately began filming season five. And you thought your boss was a pain in the ass? Sadly, it seems like all that hustling got the better of one of our beloved Guidos. After only a handful of days filming season five, the show's go-to good guy Vinny pulled in Angelina and fled from the set, apparently after a nasty bout of homesickness. But Vin's not the only cast member to pull a Yui on season five. The situation, who's reportedly fed up with the GTL grind, has already stormed off the set at least once during his current stint in Seaside Heights. And while it's now looking like Vin and Sitch are back in action, one thing is certain. The cast is starting to drop like flies. I guess we can now add cabin fever to the long list of socially transmitted diseases that the shoremates are passing back and forth to one another. And in Snooky news, our favorite little meatball is taking former BF Vinny's leave of absence the hardest. The pint-sized guidette has been an even sloppier drunken mess than usual, stumbling into cabs, falling all over rando dudes at the beach, and even, and I never thought I would live to see the day where I'd have to say this out loud, humping a potted plant. That's right. Things have gotten so bad in that animal house that Snooky has taken to humping house plants. <sighs> Remember the good old days when the cat's biggest problems were getting punched in the face by boozed up school teachers? Okay guys, to stay on top of all the latest Jersey Shore news, including all the show's seemingly unpredictable comings and goings, log on to wetpaint.com slash Jersey Shore. Ciao for now.